Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, Lucario Boricua, and I am here with Luis. And hello, everyone. Uh, today we are going to present a tutorial of the hybrid railway. Yes, uh, hybrid railway is uh, a, an interesting network because uh, they connect the railway and the monorail or high speed rail is very interesting not only to gameplay but uh, but uh, for modding okay for those who are not familiar the hybrid railway was first introduced in nam 38 uh, courtesy of Eggman 121 and as Louise mentioned it is a dual network it connects the rail and the monorail and since it's a dual network uh, it does require different techniques to uh, construct and mod so rather than yes. dragging from a starter you're gonna use yeah, yeah. a whole set of flex pieces or use the overclick overwrite method yes it is the two method uh, to build uh, uh, the hybrid railway the first method is uh, the p the puzzle the puzzle piece but this flex piece or the drag the rail and then click title for title the monorail tool okay so let's begin showing the basic alignments this is the three square piece five seven and nine orthogonal Yes. We also have the diagonals. We have a size four, six, and we also have a fractional angle piece uh, covering the yes. fractional angle two alternative. Yes, uh, it's uh, the fractional the FA is a very interesting. Uh, because it's a innovative method uh, uh, since it's the uh, one of uh, FA flex piece. So you can see here how we can uh, connect these. You just place oh, yeah. the flex piece on top of the fractional angle piece and it automatically forms uh, the junction. And of course I can do the same for the other side. Yes. We just need to connect the cross. And to show the drag method, you would use the real railway conventional track. Yes. And then, and then you use the monorail and overclick. I'm sure if it's visible here because of the terrain color. You see here how I'm gradually changing the catenary. This is uh, yes, this is method is very um, useful uh, uh, for gameplay because uh, it's saving time and then uh, resolve uh, some sticky problem when you build the station. Mm -hmm. I recommend to perform this method uh, for uh, everything for EBD, when you use EBD railway. It is, a, it is a slower method, so at least if you ask me, I think uh, if you need to work in small areas, this is super useful. It's the same with the stations, but if I just need to do a long straight stretch, the, the flex pieces are definitely more convenient. Well, uh, if you use uh, a sticky switch, uh, really... Not, uh, really... Uh, narrow uh, switch. Uh, th this method of uh, drag and, cli uh, and click is very useful because uh, uh, it the uh, wrong problem about the position of flex puzzle uh, orthogonal. Mm -hmm. Let me show another thing with the fractional angle piece. Uh, at the time, this piece doesn't have that much functionality, but we can use it to 
make the curve from orthogonal to directional angle. Make sure to overlap them one tile. This is three tiles long. We need to overlap them to make sure that they connect uh, to each other. Yes, this is uh, a flex FA, so it's a new technology developed uh, to make uh, possibility a flex FA. Okay, let's see what else we have here. So we have the uh, wide radius curves. Let's see, so this is called the radius one alternative, and it's slightly bigger than the plane radius one. Then we have radius 2, radius 3, radius 4. If you look carefully, the difference is really subtle, but it does exist. Then we have the radius 5. Yes. Uh um, generally, I recommend for game play pros uh, use uh, the radius 4 and 5 because it's uh, more realistic uh, about the by the by the, the high speed network. But uh, the hybrid railway is not only a high speed rail, pro, uh, high speed rail, but uh, in, in city rail because uh, it use uh, the traffic rail and uh, the monorail. So there is uh, a stability about uh, how you configure it about this network. If you use, uh, uh, if you build the, the, the hybrid railway in the city, you use generally the radius one or two, maximum three. But if you in countryside, then I recommend to use uh, radius four or five. Yeah, we have to remember like a high speed rail network, we're gonna make it more realistic. We need a really large radius such that the trains can go smoothly along the curves without derailing with the lateral acceleration that develops. Oh yes, uh, in, in in reality the radius five uh, theoretically you can handle a train at uh, 250 uh, kilometer per hour. So yes, it's a, um, it's a, it's a already high speed rail, but not very high speed rail because it's uh, is uh, not fast as a dedicated high speed rail, which theoretically we need to use the radius six or seven. Yes, theoretically. So we have not yet worked on those uh, we might be working on that in the future but we cannot uh, guarantee it just yet let's see what else we have on our high speed rail menu highway railway oh, oh we have yes the, this reach the track switches so we have the a1 turnout we have the a1 crossover. Let's see, this was a bit tricky. The D2. Did you notice the D2? Asymmetrical, yes. D2 bit... uh, is an asymmetrical network uh, switch. So actually, you need to use these transition pieces uh, to connect. Let's see how you put it. Okay, let's see what's... Okay, I think it's this way. There we go. And on this side as well. Okay, let me see if I can connect these. Oh, okay, yeah, so these ones, these ones are nice. really tricky to you. Oh yes, best use the no. Uh, actually, best use the monorail and the pro, uh, and is fixed. Oh really? They just need to yes. overclick with the monorail. The monorail. Oh, there, there we oh. go. There we go. Thank you. And it's tricky, but it's easy to fix because the click monorail is a very useful tool for hybrid railway because. Oh. This is uh, why I recommend the 
drag rail and click monorail because it's very useful and easy to use uh, for everyone instead uh, use the flex piece uh, orthogonal yeah so 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 the trick of the flex piece you got to get used to its size uh, before you can use it consistently you you could see how i did not align it just right and then it just uh, left that gap oh yes Another case is uh, if you use uh, the second switch, uh, if I remember correctly, is uh, E1. Uh, so, but, so uh, this one? Uh, yes, uh, use this uh, switch, uh, but you need to make uh, to make a configuration of pause. So in this case, you need to leave. Uh, well, yes, uh, just uh, to make uh, check. Uh, reboot this piece, but uh, continuing in opposing direction. Uh, is uh, if you like, uh, if you make uh, a X grade. Hmm. Uh, in this case, uh, if you use the, uh, uh, you can drag the rail, click the monorail, and you uh, and you feed, uh, fix uh, the bug of uh, one title missing. Uh, in this case, uh, if you have one title missing, uh, you it's very tricky to build with the flex piece, uh, so you need to use this method to trigger the hybrid railway. Oh, this is an another trick. Yeah, like, like you gotta override yeah. this switch to make this other one. Oh, yes. Uh, Let's see, we also have those. Okay, so we also have oh. the 45 degrees. This is a small one, radius one, and this is a bigger one. This is radius two, and we also have so have this. You can make some really uh, sophisticated uh, track junctions with this. Go back to basics here oh yes uh, again uh, if you use uh, the uh, the uh, the radius one switch uh, uh, generally i recommend to use if you build the hybrid railway in the city if you build uh, the wide radius uh, switch in this case i recommend you build in countryside because for realistic purpose but uh, everyone you make uh, a, ch um, a choice because your is your g gameplay style. Uh. Oh, really nice. Let me see something here. It's... No, it's uh, not okay, uh, so, possible. Okay, so this one does not allow the special trick no. <laughs> that the first of the switches does allow. So. So now that we have the basic tracks, uh, how do we how do we go across other networks? Because you just don't put a railway on an open terrain; <laughs> just go with it. Yes, yeah, so this is very fucking tricky because uh, the hybrid rail is not a common rail or common monorail. It's, it's another type of network. So you need to perform a special. Uh, a specific technique to build a cross grade or elevated cross. So, if you build a long orthogonal, uh, orthogonal hybrid railway, mm -hmm. oh, oh yes, mean... this is uh, elevated, but it's uh, not a discourse. You mean this one? Oh, yes, uh, build this one, but uh, for long distance. Uh... Okay, now use the Hey, perfect. Now use the elevated uh, L1 road. Okay, L1 elevated road. Let's see, draggable road viaducts. You mean this one? Oh, yes, this. Now, drag the road. Mm -hmm. So I click the road tool. Stop. Ooh. Look at that. It's automatic. Now drag the rod. In this case. 
Well, it just continues, so... So, to show what's going on, I'm gonna do a, a short segment of the regular rail here. So, what we're doing... Like, we're doing an, a, a, a stop adjacency override. We just put... The oh, the see, yeah, you see, the gate cross is very tricky for Ibu the railway. Uh, in fact, in fact, uh, the uh, over to make uh, possible uh, to make a cross grade um, um, rail. In this case, we need to use uh, the network uh, uh, eraser. Oh, the network eraser. So, what do you want me to erase? So, uh, if you, allora, in this case you made the, uh, the network races uh, is need to perform uh, one of uh, the theater is uh, near the railway. There is, uh, if you use uh, not the elevated, the cross grade. Mm, this one? Yes, yes, this one. Just one, uh, not two, but, but, because, but it's perfect because we need to show two methods of to make a parallel road for uh, a parallel road and parallel EBIT railway. So now drag the road for, uh, with a curve, a L2 curve, yes, in this case. Uh, a curve? A curve, see, sì, yes. Okay, let's see. No, uh, not diagonal, just curve. You mean like this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now connect the the, the two rod. Mm -hmm. So use the disconnect. Okay, I am using the, the in uh, in cross grade network. No, not uh, the curve. In, yes, the R. Okay. Now. Put the flex piece of Ibid Railway in the title which is missing. Oh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, the next year. Oh, the, this the, is. Hmm. You know, wasn't it like doing this and then racing here and then you put. The extra piece like this. Oh yes, this is uh, is even better. Uh, or uh, in this case, you can use uh, a name feature, which is uh, the mini roundabout. Oh, you mean? You mean? So you mean this? Oh yeah, this. You can use the, this feature, which is, uh, I think, automatically. Mm -hmm. 40 grade, 40 crossing road. You mean over here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I okay. think. So, this is a method. Generally, I don't recommend the cross grade because uh, I don't like for realistic purpose. But uh, if uh, everyone in this is think this is the method because uh, it's very tricky to make. Uh, Oh, oh, definitely. Let's see, okay, so we now return to uh, elevated rod, mm -hmm. but in this case we don't build the orthogonal elevated rod, but the diagonal elevated rod. Oh, okay, so you're gonna do diagonal. Okay, let's see. Like this? Yes, this the, 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 is automatic build. Now, continue the diagonal rod. Oh, oh, look at that. So, this is the method for orthogonal and diagonal for rod and one way rod. For a view, the orthogonal rod, the orthogonal method is the same, but for diagonal avion elevated, there is a, a trick, a special trick to make. Okay, so let me get the one-way and the avenue 
uh, ready for placement. Yes, the one uh, way rod is the same trick, so it's uh, not difficult to build, but the dif difficult is the diagonal avenue, because the overlay is not very complete, you need to drag to click one specific point uh, to make. Oh, so it's clicking here yes. with the rolls? Click here, yes, and then you uh, drag. Oh, so we're gonna need an extra help for the override on this side. No, I think this is some bug because if I remember correctly, uh, uh, the avenue is built in automatically, but uh, oh, we need to check. Let's so. try something. Try here. Oh, okay, yeah. So you have oh, to yeah, yeah, in fact. Okay, so you have to do just the, yeah. you have to do the avenue override first, and then you're gonna uh, complete this white here with the road. Clear. Yes, just click and then the. Uh, okay, in fact, I meant to correct me. So yes, this is the diagonal uh, by the elevated road, one one way road and avenue. Oh, really nice. See. Okay, let's see. Which crossings are supported for the streets? Only rod. Only rod. It's uh, hybrid grade for cross grade is supported only rod. No street, no one way rod, no avenue, just only rod. Oh, okay, you mean if I want to do an, uh, a ground level connection? Like an ad grade crossing? Oh, yes. Uh, Okay, so what if I need to cross uh, the real highway? How do I do that? Oh, well, it be the rail uh, in the rail way is very, let's say, use, but uh, easy to use, but only when the Ibid railway is elevated one, L1. Okay, For so the moment, uh, the Ibid railway is not supported. Uh, for elevated uh, rail equal. So, if the rail is L1, the rail equal is L0, so the ground. So, oh. yes, uh, by the, this, okay, you, you can use uh, the method uh, or the flex piece uh, or the drag rod and uh, click uh, monorail. Okay, let's do the drag method. The Okay, now we go to the monorail piece, and it gradually overrides the whole thing. There we go. Yes. Now, uh, use the the rail equal four. Okay, let's do. Real Highway 4. Let's see, so we're going to start Real Highway 4 and... Ooh, look at that, it's going under. Yes, it's automatic build, then you can drag uh, the continuous. Oh, this is really nice. Now, use the um, Asin Rail, rail Equacy Network, uh, so... 6 or 8 uh, C network. Okay, let's see. Let's use the 7 C, which has both oh, networks. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the missing network uh, because it's uh, really I use uh, during my gameplay. It's automatic build with uh, a special bridge. Mm, we have this. Okay, let's try something bigger. Let's go with 10S. Oh, yes, use the 10S. And then we use the hybrid railway. Okay, this is looking really nice. Yes, it's very nice. Now, Make uh, the use the EBIT railway. 
Okay, let's see. So, what do you want me to do with the hybrid railway now? Well, what? Just uh, the Autogon and the Ibido Railway. Okay, ground level? Ground level, yes, ground level. Okay, let's do some ground level. Uh, uh, not this type. Uh, we need to make a, um, a cross between a Ibido Railway L1 and Ibido Railway L0. Oh, oh, really? Okay. Do you mean like mm -hmm. this? Yes. Oh, okay. there we go. Yes, perfect. Oh, this is really nice. And now use the rail. Okay, to extend it? No, no, uh, again, uh, the rail autogun cross the Ibid railway autogun L1. Oh, you mean like this? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. So, this is, the, uh, this is uh, just a method to make a cross-grade hybrid railway with rail or hybrid railway. But uh, we need to finish the bridge. In this case, we need to use in-slope transition. Oh, right. So we need to go down so, again or go up into an embankment. Yes. Okay, stop. Mm -hmm. So, or use the uh, the flex piece. Okay, Let's see here. Hmm. Uh, this okay. is uh, some okay. way. The see, let me see if this is well aligned. Okay, there we go. This is the correct alignment. Okay. Okay, so this is a bit strange. If uh, if you use uh, some slope, I think there is some problem with slope because uh, I reported this problem. But there is a method to evitate this problem. So go to the elevated rail transition. Oh, this one Select. Here? Yes. Now drag the rail. And then click the monorail tool. Okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so you could actually use the conventional real railway on slope high transition for the monorail. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so, so this is uh, really useful to keep in mind if you have a strict slope mod which makes mm. the rail networks really flat since it can't interfere with the high transitions oh yeah this is uh, the trick if if uh, the um, in, in slope transition not working this is a very useful trick uh, surely we need to fix uh, this problem checking the the slope terrains, uh, so making uh, an official uh, name slope mod, I think, uh, or is uh, not a bug. Okay, yeah, so we are. So, so right now, uh, I am using uh, my own uh, slope mod settings, uh, mm. and I do use a really flat uh, rail network approach. I'm going to show it here. So I'm going to put some. Put some slow conforming textures here. You're gonna see just how long it takes me to go down until reaching ground level. Oh, yes. The slope mod is very useful because uh, you make uh, the um, realistic network uh, with during uh, the elicide. So if you are mountain or um, hill, the slope is very useful to make a realistic network. Oh, we are debugging the city. So this is very important. Oh, so now, dra now drag the rail. Mm -hmm. So let's drag the rail all the way to the border. 
Yes, and then click the uh, the monorail tool at the ways the, uh, the arrow. Oh, it's starts clicking here. Okay, so this network connection actually works, right? Oh, yeah, it's working, but uh, we need to make a precision. The game can elaborate in the city uh, the monorail and the rail is go out the city, but uh, the near city only see the rail is going into the city. So in this case, we need to make uh, a special piece, uh, a neighborhood con um, connector piece. Oh, okay, so this is the limitation of the game. So it's uh, so you can make uh, all the monorail or use the in, in this uh, yes, uh, use the monorail connection and then you do not. Uh, um, it's only rail and then drag uh, monorail. So in this case, use the network uh, eraser mm -hmm. in okay. this connector and then use the orthogonal monorail, uh, orthogonal hybrid railway. Yes. Okay, the flex piece. I mean, like this. Just uh, make five. Mm -hmm. No, and it's uh, ne uh, they uh, go to. Uh, yes, this is the yes. Perfect. Oh, okay, so you need to overlap the piece with the city border, such as the end stop. Oh, in this case, you need to overlap uh, the piece um, out of the city uh, to make the connection. But uh, in this case, uh, since we made uh, a monorail connection, uh, so the game see only the monorail, uh, the monorail traffic is go out of the city and go into the city. Oh. So uh, in this case, we uh, in this case we uh, the game can elaborate uh, only in the city the monorail traffic uh, and the rail traffic uh, contemporary, but the other city is only see the rail traffic. Oh, oh! I can be smart about this now. I realize something. What yes, if, this what, is the... what if I use more than one track? I mean, I make one that services the monorail with the yes. erase method and I also use the other one, the real railway. And then I can make the switch. And then I connect that with the switch. Let's see what's the suitable. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, a solution or uh, uh, this is a very tricky now. <laughs> okay, so okay, so I need to the the yes the connection piece uh, uh, the switch piece is very uh, you need the perfect configuration uh, to make uh, all, uh, okay let's see oh, okay this works so yes uh, in this case uh, the drag rail and click monorail is very useful oh, okay so so in this case the neighbor connection with the low arrow is gonna handle the rail traffic. And the connection with the high arrow is going to handle the monorail traffic. Yes. And, and then on the other side, I can join the tracks again, and then you just continue the network. Yes, uh, in this case, uh, it's, uh, see, yes, uh, because uh, in the, because uh, the monorail base and uh, neighborhood connection uh, only manage the monorail traffic. Uh, uh, the rail uh, based on Nego connection just uh, manage the rail traffic and the freight train uh, traffic. So this is uh, important to make a decision. In this case, we need uh, so if you need to make um, a neighbor connection with manage railway, uh, the rail traffic and the monorail traffic. In this case, we need to make a neighbor connection flex piece. Just like the the relic way. Okay, we'll we'll keep that in mind. Uh, since there's other dual networks uh, which we also have, which also struggle at the neighbor connection. Let's say, for instance, the uh, Tram Avenue or the Tram well, Road. So so these ones, well, they might visually go to the city border. You could even use the neighbor connection piece, uh, the neighbor connection trick with the network eraser. If you do this, 
with these networks, uh, I believe only the road traffic and the avenue traffic will go through, not the uh, light rail traffic. Actually, if I remember correctly, the the elevated rail go out of the city, but the, the, the neighbor city don't see the el, the rail elevated rail traffic. So there is uh, this problem, which is very problematic. Yeah, so we're squeezing a lot of functionality from the game's networks, but it's not perfect. There's some stuff we can't quite do just yet. Oh, another problematic is uh, the Ibid Railway Tunnel. Oh! If you, did you have my mod I made? Let me see. I don't think I have it here. Oh! Yeah, guys, this, this is my testing plugins. Uh, so oh, vabbè. Uh, no, the, allora, the same concept. Uh, so, you just uh, go to the mass transit traffic. Mm -hmm. So, we need to explain uh, uh, with the flaps, uh, the flaps, uh, the, yes, the subway GL converter. Oh, good. Ah, yeah, so you... Uh, oh, okay, you mean like this one? Yes, yeah, so, oh. yes, yeah, this one is perfect. So... I made a mod which uh, the Ibid Railway have a tunnel, but this tunnel is a simulated tunnel because uh, I need to make uh, the tunnel uh, uh, with the subway. Oh, okay, so what I'm supposed to do with it is I'm going to use the uh, yeah, light so rail. In this case, I use the GR, mm -hmm. but uh, we need to mm, made the GRL is the Ibid Railways, and oh. this piece is. The, the traffic for the people which uh, you need to build the, the tunnel. So, you uh, go to the subway uh, tool. Mm -hmm. Subway tool. Oh, okay. So, I now do this other part. Yes. Uh, just drag uh, the, uh, the subway which... Uh, we, so, the subway is uh, uh, simulated the hybrid rail tunnel. But there is one problem which is determined for the gaming uh, simulation. If I have uh, the monorail and the traffic uh, go to the tunnel, the port tunnel, the, the tunnel is a TA lot, cioè a transit lot, which converted the monorail, the rail traffic, in subway traffic, and vice versa. Oh. So, so there is this problem, which uh, all traffic is converted in subway, and then the output traffic uh, is determined the near station. So we, uh, it could be a rail or monorail uh, station. So there is, uh, this is a problem. It's working. Uh, yes, it's uh, a tricky method, but it's working. So if the railway had uh, have this tunnel. Oh. But uh, the freight uh, rate, uh, the freight uh, rate traffic uh, is not supported for this method. Oh, okay, so what you <laughs> you're saying it's that uh, elevated like the rail passengers and the monorail passengers can go in yes. and out of this tunnel, but then the freight trains cannot go in or out. They just cannot go yes, to the subway. Um, Yes, uh, but there is another method, but it's uh, even broken the hybrid railway. If you use the underground rail, mm -hmm. because my lot is made uh, compatible with the underground, uh, underground rail, yes, select yes. one of uh, underground rail. Okay, let's see. So what, okay, you mean this yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah, just uh, one uh, underground rail. So yes, select this. Yes, yes, perfect. Okay. Now uh, click uh, the underground rail. Uh, put the the, the, the puzzle pizza near the uh, the tunnel entrance. Okay, tunnel entrance. Is it, is it, is it this menu? Okay. Yes, put this piece, uh, the piece uh, one of this piece, uh, it's just a demonstration. Oh, okay, it's, okay so it's the last... No, no, yes, yeah. The octagonal underground rail, not this. Uh, I mean this one? Yes, this, yes. Uh, put this. So, in this case, uh, you need to simulate, uh, you need to imagine the, the portal rail underground, uh, the underground rail is the 
um, hybrid railway tunnel and trains. In this mm-hmm. case, the traffic and the freight uh, rail traffic is go in the tunnel, but the monorail is not supported yet. Oh, okay. It's very tricky to make a tunnel uh, with uh, the hybrid railway. It's very complicated and tricky. So generally, I recommend uh, the subway method because it's more realistic uh, for the purpose of gameplay because uh, hybrid railway is uh, is a network which they need to connect the railway and the high-speed rail. Oh, it it does make sense because if you look at high speed rail systems in the real world, uh, some of them do have tunnels that go into city center stations. Uh, but these tunnels usually do not handle freight trains. So the freight trains just go around the industrial parts of the city, so they don't have to go through the city center stations. Yes, uh, it's very complex because uh, the hybrid railway is uh, a network which uh, widely used in Europe. Uh, America is uh, not, um, we know that America don't have a proper high speed rail. Only the California is by the, a dedicated high speed rail, uh, while if you consider the not east connector, it's more a hybrid railway plus a railway. So it's very complicated to de- define uh, the high speed in America. But in Europe, uh, this is the method. By the, the, uh, the hybrid railway in the city, and then uh, in countryside, you decide if you buy this, if you connect the hybrid railway or the rail or the high speed rail. Oh, okay. So, so that's the other thing because I know that there are some places which generally prefer to use separate high-speed rail, like in Japan. In or, Japan, Japan, yes. So the Shinkansen mm-hmm. or the bullet train, the bullet train in America is scaled in America, mm-hmm. but Shinkansen is more used in Europe term. Uh, so, or you build the dedicated rail network, or you build a dedicated network but connected to the traditional rail network. Oh. In this case, the connection is the hybrid railway. In Europe, it's widely used because you can connect the high speed rail service in the city, which is not supported, which don't have a rail, high speed rail station. In this case, the hybrid rail uh, can uh, permit that the people use the high speed rail service. Okay. So it's uh, very important to define a uh, gameplay which uh, the hybrid rail, the rail, and the high speed rail. So, use the. Uh, so, in the, now let's make uh, this type of transition. So, drag the rail. Okay, so you have the rail here. Yes, yes. Uh, Drag uh, three, three titles, drag the raid three titles. Can you repeat that, please? No, da- just drag the rail. And not uh, stop. Okay, that's Now, good. use... Uh, see, yes, okay, it's good. Now, use the monorail mm-hmm. until okay. I... I say stop. Okay. Okay, stop. Okay, good. Now, use the Axpid Rail Project Ground uh, starter piece. Okay, you mean... Let's see... Okay. Okay, this one? The ground. Yeah, this one, the ground Axpid. Mm-hmm. No, not near. Large, um, see, not parallel, just... Uh, just uh, two titles uh, away. Yes, this is perfect. Okay. Now I use the monorail. Okay, monorail. Connect the, the transition key. Oh, okay, yes. so these two so these two can connect directly. Yes, yeah, so you can direct... Uh, this is the, the functionality of EBD Railway. The EBD Railway permit to connect directly the rail and the the monorail, which is uh, in the future is called the, the rail X-Speed Rail. So in this case, there is no perfect transition. 
because the XP the Rail project is uh, um, is now a legacy component of NAM. So they were essentially working on a new uh, railway yeah. standards uh, that's going to be yes. a, uh, a proper high speed rail network with the realistic geometry and elevated support and all of those uh, nice goodies. It's taken us a while. It's a really big project. Yes, it's a very big project, but uh, it's now very essential to make this uh, this project because the X speed rail project uh, is very old, not uh, update mode, which is broken a lot of configuration you can make. Uh, uh, so it's now very um, che Personally, I prefer to build the high speed rail, the hybrid rail instead of a high speed rail project because it's very odd and uh, tricky to make uh, work. Uh, it's uh, completely a puzzle piece. Oh, okay, right. The railway is a flex piece, so it's a more uh, so you see the railway is a very avant uh, it's very important because it's make the life is easy. Okay. Yeah. Just to give you an idea, uh, the high-speed rail project actually struggles with compact geometry. So you, you can you cannot really do side-by-side uh, -side tracks. Yes, this is a very problematic situation because if you make uh, if you need a solution, which is very annoying. Oh wow! So yes, really need to put I another think not... starter here. Wow. Yes, um, it's a very it's now a, a really a broken mode the X speed rate project. Uh, so it's I don't recommend to support the use of this mod. So if you need to build the X speed rail, okay. Use, but uh, the hybrid uh, railway is a better solution now. All right, let's see what else we might need to try out. So we built a lot of track, the connections, the overpasses. Uh, can you now show? Now we need. Uh, now we need to make a station. So let's make a city, a two city, or uh, three city. Okay, so In this case, uh, I will show you the functionality of EBIT Railway. Uh, this is configuration I use it when I make uh, an EBIT Rail station. This is, so this is important. So this is an uh, internal NAM testing. Uh, which, uh, and for public, we show you how to make a TA lotting testing. So, okay. in this case, we need to build three cities. One city is resident. Two cities resident, one city is uh, industrial. Oh, okay, so let's make some room. We're gonna remove these pieces here. Yeah, just by the a small, very, a very small city because the dimension of the city is very small in this case. Just to check the switch, the TA switch is working. So, this... drag a road, drag to road, parallel road, but distanced. Make the residual, put the station, uh, the rail station and uh, the monorail station or the high speed rail project station. Okay, so, so it's n don't make uh, a big residual zone, a small residual zone, yes. Like, like this? Yeah, yes, see, yes, it's perfect. Okay, so this is residential. See, yes, this is, put the, uh, the rail station. Okay, let's put a rail station. Let's see which options we have available. Yeah. Okay, so we have oh, just a ground uh, rail station. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can use. I uh, know oh, this is a bit the rail station. The again, yes, yeah, so you can use this uh, the rail transit hub. Oh. Or just the Maxis uh, train station. This is uh, not very important to select the, the station now. Just uh, we need uh, some station, rail station. Okay, let's see. So let's go with this one. 
Oh, this is the hybrid railway station, but uh, for the configuration, uh, we need to show, we need a Maxis race station. So, use the Maxis race station now. Okay, so let's start with one of those, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, drag the rail. Okay, let me know until one. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, stop. that's enough. Okay, go to the middle of the track. Okay, the middle of the track. Hey, yes, the middle of the track. Uh, and destroy. Because we need to place uh, a hybrid uh, rail switch. Okay. Use uh, the radius to hybrid rail switch. Okay, you mean... You mean this one? Yes, this one. Okay. But uh, not not in this the, uh, the opposite direction. Okay, pointing out. So let's see, you mean like this? Not uh, opposite. Uh, so not uh, going uh, in the. You need to make uh, a parallel road, oh. but with radius two, but with radius two, just to make an idea. This one? Not. Uh, uh, use the radius 2. Just oh. the radius 2. But it's not oriented uh, in down, in up. Okay, like this? The opposite direction, but... Oh, you mean... Oh, okay, like this? Yes, 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 this. Oh, okay, so you wanted the, the branch track to point to the right side, okay. Because uh, we, we make the remix station which is uh, in the residual zone. Uh, the, uh, the final st station is the industrial zone, but we need this, uh, this switch because we need to connect another residual, uh, res residential zone, but with the monorail tool. Oh, okay, so you mean you want to do a transition to monorail from this track? Yes, yeah, uh, see, but we need to make the transition in octagonal, not in diagonal, okay. octagonal. Okay, so let's do a short curve, let's see. Yes. Oh, okay, I get it. So I now use this ground high-speed rail project. And then... Okay, now make uh, a station because uh, we need the monorail path. Okay, so the station, the... should I put it in this same city or another residential? Oh, no, in, in, another, in another residential zone, in another, because uh, this is uh, a test, uh, in, this is the MTA testing. Uh, so we need to check uh, if the switch working or not working. So generally we need to make a two... Uh, three or more residential zone and then to all the residential zone is connected to industrial zone because there is a movement from the people oh, okay. you need to force the people use the, mass, the transit station mm -hmm. okay, so let me see the ground high speed rail station where is that So we have station here. Yeah, yes, yes. Connect the road. Now go to connect the switch with the rail because it's not connected. Okay. Uh, use uh, the tool. Okay. Monorail. The monorail tool. Okay, to convert. All of this yes. track to hybrid railway. Okay, convert to this uh, rail, uh, but we need to make uh, another uh, to uh, click uh, um, in the switch because we need to make a perfect um, transition uh, in the orthogonal. This is perfect. The diagonal is perfect. Just orthogonal. Need some click uh, with oh. the monorail tool. Okay, so this. Not 
Uh, just uh, start to switch, uh, then click two or three time. Uh, oh. The uh, just uh, for orthogonal uh, transition. Oh yes, so this is a good method. Yeah. Oh, okay. Connect. Uh, now just uh, just connect now. Oops. Now we need. Uh, uh, yes, uh, it's just click the bug is uh, fixed. Now go to the orthogonal uh, branch. Start to the switch and click uh, two, three time for the monorail to with the monorail to go. Oh. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. Okay, now this uh, at, uh, now go to the end of the the rail. Oh, okay, over here. Now yes, go to here. Uh, fix the. Uh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Now, please, um, EB the rail station. Okay, let's see. Hybrid rail station. Let's go this one. Yes, yeah, so just select one. Okay. Okay, you can avoid in this way, but uh, we'll show you another method. So, take a space between the station and the EB the railway. Okay, like this. Yes, this. Mm -hmm. Now use the generally if you place it in this in this position the station generally is not connected mm -hmm. within the EBIT railway and the station. But there is a method. Okay. Click to uh, the rail. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's have the rail. Yes, now drag to rod, just drag to rod, uh, normally, and then, uh, yes, drag, perfect. Now, use the monorail tool, but you need to start the station until, the, uh, and connect the, uh, the last piece of uh, the rail. Oh, it's give me, like this. This, or... drag, drag, now drag. Oh, oh, like this. Yes. Okay, there we go. Now, by the, the industrial zone, uh, connect the, um, the electricity, the resilient uh, cause, uh, and uh, start the simulation. Okay, so let's put the industrial zone here. Yeah, small industrial zone, put the, the power plant. Okay, now let's put some power. Put and the power plant uh, even for the resilient zone. Okay, power lines. Okay, let's see. So let's put some waste management because the city can stop growing if garbage is not addressed. <laughs> Oh yes, this is a very co uh, all my city um, which I build only for the transit uh, uh, for the transit configuration testing uh, is uh, a mess with the page. Now connect the second city with the power grid. Okay. All right, it go this way. Yes, put uh, some um, garbage zone. Okay, got them ready. Oh, yes, it's uh, just put the garbage zone for the second city for security. Oh, uh, oh right, right. You gotta make sure that these guys aren't left out either. Okay, stop. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And now start the simulation, put the max uh, velocity. The max speed of the game. Okay. Okay, city okay. is growing. Let's wait uh, some time. And now... Okay. The industrial is developing. So... Put the... Uh, uh, the question mark of the transit switch. Okay, traffic route query, okay. Yeah, the route query. And 
click the station, the industrial station. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. okay. it's getting both types of traffic. Yes. So you can see, we need, we build uh, this one city is connected with the rail traffic, and one city is connected with the monorail uh, traffic. In the hybrid railway, manage the bot rail traffic, uh, the the bot, the rail and the monorail traffic. This is important because we the hybrid rail is uh, all, is uh, as, uh, a con is a converted over. Because oh. con they convert the rail with the monorail and the monorail with the rail and manage contemporary. In this case, this is a solution. This is a, a European solution. So there is a XP rail connected with uh, the city. There is uh, a standard rail connected to another city, and the bot the, the network is connected with the industrial zone in one in just one network. Oh, okay. So, so, so yes, you're saying that if you are in the inner part of the city, the city center, the downtown, uh, you yes, don't have much this, space, and so you just uh, overlap both types of rail service. In this, in, yes, uh, this is a solution uh, for the the town, the town. Yes, the downtown. So you have a big city. You are the town. You are. Uh, in the downtown, you need to buy the station. So the hybrid railway is the perfect solution because you can decide if you make a rail traffic or upgrade the rail uh, network with the high-speed rail network. Okay, so here's another thing we want to clarify, which is about oh yes, support uh, the, for the, the, Oh yes, uh, just put the station. Uh, in uh, the city, yes. Okay. Start the simulation. Oh, yes. look at that. Since the hybrid railway is a rail by is a rail based network with the enchanted yes, it's a basic rail network with enchanted monorail stuff. So in this case, the hybrid railway not only manage the monorail and the rail passenger traffic. But manage the rail freight state uh, traffic. Oh, look at that! Yeah, it's a very big. Uh, so when you use the hybrid rail, you need to calculate uh, all uh, condition. Generally, I recommend to use the hybrid rail with the passenger traffic. But if you have a big city and you use a uh, hybrid railway, even in that zone, in this case. Uh, the hybrid railway make the difference. Oh, okay. and yes, theoretically, SimCity 4, we need, theoretically, we need to put the rail traffic in the monorail uh, bus at the network, but there is a game limitation. So, theoretically, we, we could have uh, the high speed rail traffic, uh, um, freight traffic. Yes, the train at um, high speed. But no, don't transport the passenger, but don't but transport the good. In Italy is uh, in France is uh, a reality. Ooh. In Italy is more reality. The, the France is a very fortunate case because uh, the TGV there is a special version of TGV which is called the Post. It's oh. basically the UPS, uh, the post, uh, the US postal service, but uh, on high speed rail traffic. Well, as opposed to using instead, trucks or airplanes. Yeah, instead of use the plane, use the high speed rail. It's very effective, but uh, it's a fortunate case because uh, it's made in the 19th. It's uh, so it's very under uh, so you need. Um, it was a very fortunate case because the Italian uh, high speed rail traffic is working well. Oh, okay. Okay, there is a last problematic of the high speed, uh, the hybrid railway. What's the that? Die, the bridge. Oh. The hybrid railway don't have a bridge. But oh. the hybrid railway could have a bridge in name 45. Oh, wow. So let's hope we can make it happen. Oh, yes. I hope to make it. Uh, the bridge is uh, completed. Randy could just fix some 
bug with the UVM map, but is uh, completed. In this case, we need to use uh, the monorail or the rail uh, um, tool to make the bridge. Oh, okay, right. So right yeah. now, if I were to do, like, if I were to have like some river crossing yes, here, in this case, we need to work to make a bridge, the rail bridge, and the monorail bridge, and then connect the two network uh, in the Ribid Railway. This is the solution for, for the moment. Or the another solution is use my the tunnel the tunnel uh, the tunnel connector and uh, with the sub you make the the tunnel. Okay so I want or to use the under Okay so I at least want to do something at the surface. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a surface connection. So let's do this here. Let's do the okay. Monorail overclick. Connect and yes. Sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now what I can do is I do my passenger rail bridge on this side. Okay. Let's go with that one. And then I use. Monorail for the other side, and we use a ground high speed rail bridge, and then we connect these. Yes, yeah, so the, the, for the moment, this is the solution for the hybrid rail bridge, but. Uh, in, I open the name in 45, uh, we make a, a proper hybrid uh, rail bridge. Because uh, it's a uh, very underground, it's, it's, the name of 45 is uh, a big stuff content. Uh, and, and the first content uh, I can uh, say is uh, the Italian translation of the, the network add-on mod. Oh, okay, thank you. It's not, uh, it's not perfect, the, the Italian translation, but uh, I hope with the player feedback improve the translation because it's only one made, uh, only one person made the Italian translation. So yes, it, it can be a bug in the translation, but it's normal. Oh, okay, so for those who want to use the Italian uh, translation, uh, so you could think of it as being in a beta stage, so you could still find some issues to address, but it should be largely yeah, functional yeah. already. Yes, uh, just fix some mistake uh, during the translation because the translation is not very perfect, especially when you, you only one person making the translation. Uh, so I hope with the Italian player feedback, uh, see the see the, the bug, fix the bug, and made a proper uh, a perfect translation. Okay, thank you. I hope uh, because uh, I don't know which play Italian uh, player in uh, play in SimCity 4 because uh, a lot of play is uh, transferred to City Skyline. Uh, so yes, it's oh, very okay. so, so, it's uh, very, very important to see the reaction of the Italian fan base of SimCity 4. Yes, so maybe we can maybe we can actually do another uh, NAM user survey about language support we could ask which players might need uh support in other languages uh, to see if we could add a few more oh yes uh, um these are uh, fair to survive in them fair to survive uh, is uh, since the name is a complex mod the survey the feature survey is a complex uh, because we need to consider the real it way the high speed rail project the hybrid railway and so on uh, then we need to consider the third party mod cioè all the mod which uh, is made to modify the the name like the the rail equate texture or the hybrid railway texture and so on. In this case, uh, we need to, uh, to, uh, to add the feature, uh, the, uh, the survey about the language. So, yes, it's uh, a very debate to make uh, the, the, the language uh, section for the name survey feature. 
I hope the names of the feature uh, feature is um, published uh, when we release the name 45, uh, but it's not so, uh, so good about this because it's a complex survey for the complexity of the model. Oh, okay, so it's very very, so it's more, uh, Then uh, we, we uh, the name 45 contains a lot of bug fixes, especially for the Europe and the left and drive uh, if we need to if this uh, bug fix is for is possible because we we see the the famous uh, sim city 4 network add mod hardware software survey which is indicate uh, which name you use uh, the U us takes to or the europe takes to or the right hand um, drive on the left hand drive Oh, okay, so one, so, thing, so, so one thing I will note is that all the European texture players represent exactly one third of survey answers, so roughly a third of the NAM and Sim 4 user base probably uses it. So this would affect, uh, on the positive, at least a third of the user base. It's really significant. Yes, uh, this is a very important and significant because we need to uh, get uh, thanks to survey we we just put uh, a methodology for the fix the bug before we start uh, the next version of the NAM. It is so this is very important. Uh, name forty five con contain a lot of bug fix, not only for. Um, Left and play, uh, left and drive or European uh, player. There is a lot of bug fix, uh, which uh, improve the stability of the game. Another problem, uh, which is brought uh, but is complex, is about the process of installing the NAM. But in this case, we need to discuss uh, another tutorial oh, because okay. uh, Sim City 4 is uh, complex. Is uh, very um, odd game which re re required a special procedure but if you make the special procedure you can have a stability in the game and an enchanted graphic version okay glad to know about that yes so is there uh, anything uh, else we have left to show of the hybrid uh, railway so far not yet, the Abbey Railway is uh, complete, uh, the tutorial uh, is complete, we show you all uh, the particular of the, this network, this uh, mysterious network, because the player uh, is, uh, it's the first time the player see this network, uh, it's very hidden, it's uh, a particular gem which uh, only few players discover this gem and start using uh, widely in the city in doing the gameplay. Okay, so for the time being, uh, this is all the Hybrid Railway has to offer. Uh, be on the lookout because it's going to continue getting features over the next PNM versions. Uh, so yeah, maybe so with yeah. NAMP45 we could do uh, second parts, showing some of the new things we're going to be adding. No, yes, I hope with the NAMP45 we show uh, the, the, the evolution of uh, Ibido Wave and maybe the new generation of high speed rail. I don't know if uh, NAMP45 contains the, uh, the next generation of high speed rail. Book no. Okay. Uh, and without further ado, I think we are ready to conclude this tutorial. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. And uh, we'll see you the next time. Yes. Hello. Okay. Goodbye, everyone.